the album I believe was released just before Christmas I think it was about December the 5th then came the question of what do we do now so we thought that it might be a good idea to take these songs out and play them live but at the time we didn't have a drummer I'd played most of the drums in the studio this meant trying to find some individual that would be willing to fill the drum stool while I was playing guitar and singing fortunately after a little bit of searching, we managed to make contact with a gentleman called Leon. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Uh, a friend of mine, who's also a guitar player, said, well, I know a drummer, you should meet him. His name's Leon. He then came down to the studio, met up with the rest of the guys, and certainly on a personal level, the connection was instantly there. But as soon as he sat behind a drum kit and we all started playing, it was immediately clear that he was also going to work out musically. Yeah, I, I should have done a bit of uh, more preparation, but I got caught in rock songwriting line last night, so sorry about oh, that. Oh, well. What? I wrote a song called Leicester Square Heroes. Uh, <laughs> Leicester Square Heroes? <laughs> Don't tell me, the first line is, I found smog at the end of my rainbow. No, I, I, I found um, uh, smeg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I say rainbow. <laughs> What are you doing, Paul? Wondering where to start. So, in the words of Ario Speedwagon, I'm on the road again. What a great band. <laughs> I saw them once, twice. Three, Three times, times a lady. could touch my thighs. I poured myself a drink for the suicidal into a chair and proceeded to twist the bottle's neck until I woke up in Ecuador with two pairs of pants and a big bald nurse who said she had contacts on the inside that is. Playing live is, uh, is kind of a strange experience for me. I absolutely love it. Um, but if you were an impartial observer, you would probably think that I was the person least enjoying my time on stage. The fact is, I really, really do enjoy it. Uh, I get really, really nervous before playing live, less so now than I used to. But I do tend to, to concentrate very, very hard on what I'm doing when I'm playing live because I'm aware that you know, people have paid to come and see us. You know, it's very much substance above style.
So here we are, with the Robin 2 in Bilston, which is just near Jamaica. <laughs> Paul is such a rock. He gives me the freedom to be that slightly more showy player that I enjoy being. He's just there. It doesn't matter where you are or where you think you are playing. If you get lost, all I know is I look over and he's there and he's solid. We at Tiny Fish do not um, do agree with drug use in any way whatsoever. No. Neither do we agree with uh, real life. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, not wanting to alienate drug users. <laughs> So, another hotel room, eh, Robert? Ah, yes, yes. Another hotel room, another 26 quid. <laughs> That's for the hotel room, not what I'll do. Goodbye. <laughs>